Warning. This podcast may contain spoilers for film and television. And it will also contain explicit content. Fuck yeah! Yeah! me about how you hate america uh yeah south america because i want to go there so badly (laughs) i hate it so much i'm so jealous that they're there and i'm not (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i fucking love between two ferns it's one of my favorite bits that he does is where he's like talking to him about something that he totally made up just to like incriminate them (laughs) so so i I got your text but not bringing up your mind comp tattoo (laughs) okay (laughs) But no. Um, uh, welcome yeah, so. back to the McBeef Bingo Podcast. This is episode uh, thirty-nine, dude. Whoa, almost forty. Only almost forty. Only miles. thirty more episodes to get to our favorite number, dude. <laughs> Seventy-one. Yeah. Right. Some good That's math 30. there. You got. <laughs> Such yeah. good math. Yeah, some good math. That makes sense. That's probably why I don't have any keys. Yeah, but no, you're right. Uh, almost forty episodes. Pretty, pretty yeah. crazy. We're yeah, we're we're getting up there. We're getting to about the uh, midlife crisis point. I think we're definitely almost there. Like we're pr- yeah. pretty much there already. But yeah, you know, for yeah. sure. Indubitably. Um. So let's get it started. Uh, this yeah, week man. we watched uh the death of Stalin. Indeed. Which came out in 2017, uh, rated R. It's a dark comedy. It's a, about uh, the death of, um, I don't know if the guy you heard of, maybe uh, Stalin. Yeah. For time. For time? What? He's Stalin for time. Oh, haha. Uh, by Good Armando Iannucci, I think, is how you pronounce it. I don't know. The um, Oh, yeah, Armando In- Inuki, Inushi, Inuki, maybe. I don't know. Inuki. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, um, so, what did you think about it? What, what, what uh, did you well, first think of, of all, it? Interesting cast. Uh, I liked it uh, from an acting standpoint. I think it was really strong, mm-hmm. uh, and I thought it was really fun because it was very funny, and the the humor was tailored to the premise very well. Mm-hmm. I think because it was uh, they were in a situation where the humor seemed natural because they were very timid at times because they had to be. Mm-hmm. considering the totalitarian state that they were in at that time. So yeah. I thought that was very interesting that the w- the way they incorporated that was really fun. The the types of gags they did that were woven in were very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um and then I th- I thought it was very interesting too that at the end it sort of got more serious. Uh because I wasn't sure if they were cuz I knew Khrushchev became uh leader of Russia temporarily mm-hmm. uh, or for for some time for at least a couple of years. I don't remember how long he was in power, but yeah. I do. I do know he he uh, succeeded Stalin, um, so I wasn't sure. It was, I I figured it was going to go that way at some point, and that Beria was, you know, going to meet his end at some point. Um, I just wasn't sure when, and I didn't know if it was going to be. I wasn't sure if it was going to be, sort of stick to uh, the history books, or if it was going to be more of like Inglorious Bastards, where like they sort of kind of rewrote the end of history Mm -hmm. a little bit where like where like hitler died at the end you know yeah and well he obviously he still died but like uh he died in the theater or whatever um in in glorious bastards so i wasn't sure if it was going to be like that but i'm glad that they didn't it was um it made it much more interesting and actually i think a little bit more compelling when uh they got to the ending there yeah Um, oh yeah it was really the ending was like really strong yeah very great uh i liked it what do you think of the whole film, um, I really enjoyed it. I laughed quite a bit. Um, mm-hmm. That it was really funny. As your uh, the man who lives in your room uh, men- mentioned, uh, you know, it's not it's not for everyone's uh, mm-hmm. uh, funny bone, but yeah, uh, I thought it was. I thought I still thought it was pretty funny. Definitely my yeah. type of humor. I think exactly. Uh, it was well, it was it was fun too because like it kept you sort of invested. I think the whole time. Um, where like, cause you kind of had to pay attention, I think, to some of the subtle moments, mm-hmm. like uh, when uh, with, with, uh, when Buscemi's character Khrushchev was talking to, uh, I think it was, who was he talking to? Was it um, Michael Palin's character or maybe Jason Isaacs? I can't remember. He was talking to one of them about the um, that woman that 
uh, Beria brought back. Like they thought she was like dead or whatever. Mm, or that she was a yeah. traitor. And then they bring her back as soon as they're talking about her. <laughs> and mm-hmm. like you know, they sort of have to like switch it up a little bit. And then and then uh, Buscemi and uh, Simon Beale's character uh, Beria are like sort of vying for this other guy because they're trying to vie for power over yeah. the committee. And it's so, like watching their their shifting tactics was very fun. I mm-hmm. think. It's it's like a, another one of those where the moments are really awkward. Yes. And that's you know I I like always laugh at those because I just love awkward moments in films. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean yeah. But yeah, you can't help but laugh at them. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to 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 be able to relieve tension that comes from those awkward moments, I think, and mm-hmm. that's what kind of makes it funny, I think. Um, and yeah, you're right. The acting was phenomenal. I mm-hmm. I thought everyone did a really good job. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm trying to think. That that was and to that point, that was kind of one of the reasons I really loved the ending too. I specifically loved um, Simon Beale's acting as Beria in the end, like when he was dying, mm-hmm. uh, or like right before he died. You know, he was very, uh, very driven. I think so. That was really good. Um, yeah. Not to say that the others didn't do a good job because obviously everyone I think was was great in it. Um, but yeah, I, I specifically noticed that. I thought that was very interesting. Mm-hmm. So. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. It's just um, really good, really good film. Yeah, I can see why it got such uh, such uh, high marks. I it was mm-hmm. really fun. Yeah, um, let me just make sure I didn't. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, it was um, two days before it was supposed to um, show in Russia. It got banned essentially. Sure. Because they didn't like that, essentially made fun of uh, their government, right? Um, so I just thought that was that was interesting. Yeah, I mean, I can I can see why it's uh, yeah. sort of similar. I think like the to the censorship stuff in China too. Mm-hmm. Um, I, we watched uh, in my foreign film class. We watched a movie called uh, Infernal Affairs, which is uh, which was basically the inspiration for um, basically a shot for shot remake. You might have seen. I don't know if you have or not. It's called uh, The Departed. Um, if you remember The Departed, if you ever watched that. It's been a um, while. But, yeah. And I think I only um, saw, like some, like, some of it. So. Uh, yeah, where there's, like, corruption in, like, the uh, the police force. And so, I, I actually, I think mm. China uh, wanted them to shoot a different ending for their release than what was seen in the end. Because, like, um, spoiler alert for it, obviously, um, since they're pretty much the same movie, um... And the actual ending, obviously, uh, again, spoilers, um, mm-hmm. uh, Matt Damon, who is sort of, was part of the corrupt rank, he, you know, he, uh, um, he got away in the end, but for mm-hmm. China, because they didn't, they wanted very specific, um, censorship on, on what they could show in China, so they actually changed the ending to where he got caught in the end, and so, you know, the, uh, moral system, or the, the just system won out, or whatever, you know, so it's, um, Watching how uh, different countries might censor or b- even ban different films is interesting too. I think, um, mm-hmm. and I mean, obviously, I because do, I don't judge. You know, I mean, I think most, if not all, films are good films. Um, I mean, yeah. obviously, there's bad films, but yeah. like, thanks, Killing. They, they still, they can still, yeah, <laughs> thanks, Killing. But they can still, um, they can still invite conversation sometimes. You know, I think, mm-hmm. or all all the time, really. I mean, yeah. They can they can get you thinking about certain things, which I think is really fun. And like yeah, like this one we mentioned, the acting was was great, and I think it was very interesting. The premise and, and it, I think it was well done, personally. So. Oh yeah, definitely. Um. Pause for a comedic effect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> great. That was nice. Such a professional po- podcast. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still recording. <clears throat> I said, no, I said stop farting. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Really good movie. Definitely recommend it for, I guess, people who enjoy comedy. Yeah. Enjoy laughing. Yeah, right. It's still a, you know, dark comedy. and. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's got it's some, good, some good stuff in it. Indeed. Um, so... We're done with that. Um, do you did you watch anything this week? Yeah, I watched uh, Death of Stalin, which was really great. Um, sorry, <laughs> I haven't sorry. made that joke before. Definitely. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> watched it. Um, 
my dad is staying with me for the weekend. He just watched, he just got done watching Drive, which is a movie I watched for the podcast that I'm on, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> but no, he, he just got done watching that, which is great. Um, I watched some, some of those moments for, watching those again was, that again was really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely still love the colors in it. Um, <laughs> uh, but, did you, did uh, you like that, it? We, Oh yeah, yeah, he liked it. Um, good. I'm trying to think what else good. I've been watching. Uh, good. It's all part of your plan. Um, <laughs> let me think. Uh, I don't think I've watched anything else at the moment. I'm still. I got some stuff on my list that I want to watch for sure. Uh, chief among those is uh, Waco. I haven't seen that yet, but I was gonna check it out. I think. Um, mm, Waco. I'll probably yeah. check it out this weekend. Yeah. Um. But no, I haven't really been watching anything at the moment. What about you? You watched anything? Um, I think I told you about a few of these already, but mm-hmm. I just want to talk about them real briefly. Oh yeah, uh, you're talking about uh, Pornhub. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, Squ- it's actually called Scrub Hub. Oh, okay, yeah, for sure. So specifically, like nurse, like porn or? No, it's 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 porn of people washing their hands. Oh, okay, I get you. Yeah, that's cool. That's a that's a real website. You should go to it in case you don't know how to wash your hands. Yeah, man. Um, but no, the movie like COVID nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the stuff I watched this week, um, I watched uh, Blade of the Mo- Blade of the Immortal. Okay. Excuse me. Which was, excuse me again. Uh, really good. Yeah. Um, it's essentially like John Wick, but in feudal Japan. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really like the premise for that one. Yeah, it the trailer is what ho- the trailer is what is what hooked me. So, no, for sure. Uh, is trailer. that on any of the streaming sites? I've not- Hulu. It's on. It's on, it's Hulu. on Hulu. Yeah, for sure. Okay, maybe I'll check it out. Um, if you think it's worth a watch. Yeah, I would say so. For sure. Um, I watched uh, Code Eight. Oh yeah, uh, which I was is looking at that, but I haven't Robbie Amell and Stephen Amell. Yeah. Or, yeah, whatever the other guy's name is. Yeah, we don't talk about him. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty good. I I enjoyed it. Uh, of course, I enjoy pretty much every movie I watch. So blah blah blah. Um, I also watched uh, The Witcher. Yeah. Which was a pretty good show. Finally got around to watching it. Um, mm-hmm. definitely recommend you that one. Toss the coin to your Witcher, right? Yeah. And then I watched Midnight Gospel. Which rec- recently just came out on Netflix. Okay. Which uh, it's kind of like a podcast in a way, but it's it's Not like a it. cartoon TV show. It okay. It's pretty much like because uh, it's based on a uh, a real person's podcast, um, but I think it's like audio taken from the podcast, and so they kind of turn it into like a cartoon of just these people talking. But it's like very existential stuff. So like they talk about life and death and. You know, just living in general. Pursuit uh, of happiness. Yeah, that kind of stuff. It's it's it's, it's really good. It may not be for everyone though, just because it's, um, it's just weird. I would say. Yeah. Art style is a little weird, but I, I like I like it. Sure. Um, didn't watch the movie uh, Oh Brother Where Art Thou? Ah uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Which was really good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, one. Yeah, it's great. Um, we always uh, in film school we talked about that one because of um, their use of color. That was one of the first ones that was like colored digitally, um, like after the fact, mm-hmm. I think, um, w- which was pretty good. Uh, Roger Deakins was ins- uh, instrumental in helping with that too, which was great. Um, and speaking of which, he started a podcast. Did you know that? Who? Uh, Roger Deakins. He was mm-hmm. the cinematographer for uh, 1917. Mm, that would be cool. Yeah, no, he he uh, yeah he was instrumental though in that, um, which was pretty great. Um, no, yeah, I loved his work with uh, the Coen Brothers. But yeah, uh, what do you think? I thought Sorry, it was I good. Didn't mean to. Yeah, That's it was... fine. I again, every movie I watch is is good because I pick I pick good ones, you know. Indeed. So that was it was a good movie. I enjoyed. Uh, I mean, obviously, I think George Clooney pretty much stole the show, but. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I loved his character. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah. Um, and then finally, uh, what I've been watching re- recently. I watched the movie What 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 We Do in the Shadows, yep. which is on Canopy, which is like a very good movie. It's uh, Taika Waititi's. I think it's his directorial debut. I think, if I'm For not sure. mistaken. Um, but he's in it too. Uh, 
which was, you know, it's just a really good show. And then yeah. a, re- a really good movie. And then they made a show on FX, uh, which is like halfway through its second season right now. So I've started watching. I'm through the first season, ha- halfway through the first season right now. But mm-hmm. the show is like just as good, if not better than the movie. So definitely yeah. re- re- recommend it if you, if you see the movie. Indubitably. For sure. All right. Sorry. Okay. I'm trying to finish my lunch. For sure. Um, okay. So, in previous episodes, uh, previous episodes uh, that have the the number nine in it, except except the the first ninth a- a- episode, uh, we have done Star Wars themed uh, stories. I guess is what you would call them. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Um. Sorry. <laughs> I, guess. I get distracted very easily. Um, For sure. Uh, so yeah, we've done Star Star Wars stories, I guess. Yeah. Um, and today will be our final one for a little bit. Um, we're take we're yeah. taking a break from these. We'll probably do uh, a different sort of comedic bit or different or film sketch. series or whatever. I don't or, know. Yeah, we'll think of something. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find something. We won't else. always be on, you know, the ninth episode or whatever, but right, you know we'll, what I mean. We'll find some different different trends. Um, but yes, today will be the final Star Wars episode for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, get into it today. Like, oh my God, Mills totally sucks. He gave Henri a call and said, "I'm a kill you, bitch." But Henri was all, "Fuck you, I'm a Sith bitch." And Henri's little Jimmy was all like, my parents are fucking dead. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh, Marflaw. Oh, and Darth Vader was Mills' father. Holy shit, these boys are the funniest thing since Yo Mama Texas. Uh, last episode, you went searching for Darth Vader's lightsaber. Yep. Pretty sure you pushed him off a cliff. Mm-hmm. You got a little, uh, a lizard... Pet. A lizard. Was it, was it, wasn't it a Komodo dragon? Thing yeah, a, it's like yeah. a Komodo dragon type of thing um, named Timmy, who was a female. Timmy. I actually yeah. re-listened to some of la- uh, last episode, uh, Star Wars yeah. episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and you got a lightsaber. Now, I don't remember if you lost your first first light lightsaber. Yeah. It has like a bunch of uh, things on it. Um, but sure. you did get a new <laughs> lightsaber that is like a vibrating one. Yeah, yeah, it's a vib- it's a vibrator saver. And you uh, got into space in a shitty spaceship, and you got a mm-hmm. call from your good pal uh, Miles the Jedi, and he's threatening to kill you because you killed Darth Vader. <laughs> so he's so is he a Jedi or is he not? He, I don't know. That's, he said he's a Jedi, but who knows? All right. So we begin today's story with uh, you. Um, where? Okay, so you got you. You get the call. Where do you go from me? Okay. You, and you and you hung up on him, so you like you didn't really get to hear what his plan was or anything. For sure. Well, then I got to figure out what he's up to because obviously I know he's not going to leave me alone. So first place we search. It's Jedi Planet 69. Okay. So we head that way. All right. It's uh, It takes about two years to get there. Okay. How, how big does my Komodo dragon get, and do I have enough space in my spaceship? Uh, you have no space, so he's, like, still a baby right now. Okay. It might take him a while to grow uh, full size, but okay. he's still, you know, just a baby for now. Sure. Um, okay, so you had to... Uh, Jedi Planet 69 is that yep. is that what it was yep. that you said? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you head to Jedi Planet 669 and there you find uh, a very tiny, it's very small. I know you're used to seeing big Jedi temples, but you see a very it's a very small Jedi <laughs> temple. Sure. <laughs> like it's like it's the size of um like a a miniature Jedi temple, you know? Sure. Yeah, and it's 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 on this planet that's like about a foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. About a foot wide in diameter, so it's not sure. it's not it's not too big. You um, accidentally break it uh, <laughs> when you when you arrive. <laughs> so I land on top of it. Yeah, you just kill everyone there. Um, luckily, there's a uh, Jedi uh, planet 420 that's okay. right nearby. Okay. So you zoom on uh, your way to Jedi planet 420. And there is a medium-sized Jedi temple on a, a medium-sized planet, I suppose. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and you land, and uh, it seems pretty desolate. doesn't really okay. seem like there's anybody there. Okay. What do you do? So the first thing I do is check how long it takes me to get to Jedi Planet 666, so that if nothing works out here, I can go there. So... Uh, I checked to see how long that takes, how that would, how long that would take as a backup. But a, after about that, a minute, it's uh, right behind. It's they're okay. they're right next to each other. They're actually. like attached to one another. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're, okay. they're yeah they're attached. They're joined at the head. Uh, okay, so um, is there anything in my immediate surroundings that I can check out and investigate? In your on what planet four? Is there anything in my immediate surroundings mm. on planet four twenty that I can investigate? Well, there's the temple. Okay. Of course. Okay. So I head that way. We'll head to the we'll head to the temple. Okay. So you got um, your little Timmy and my vibrator saber. Yeah. I don't see. I don't know if you if you have the big lightsaber or not. I think you do. I do not. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, are we talking about Vader's saber or no? The, your 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 my, first my saber. Old one. Your old one. Um, yeah. <coughs> I do not remember. Um, okay. Because I know you killed those the Padawans. I did. And then. Eh, whatever. So you got yeah. you, you got this one, this vibrating saber. Sure. Um, okay. So you slowly walk up the steps. It looks like a, a big white house. Yeah. But it's it's actually is, a Jedi temple. Is Donald Trump there? No, his his skeleton is though, <laughs> and his his toupee <laughs> is sitting. <laughs> yeah, the, and the toupee is sitting uh, right next to it. Sure. And there's even like he's got it's the bones. The skeleton has like a little name tag. Mm -hmm. It says, I'm with stupid. I'm with stupid. <laughs> um, okay, so you go into the temple. Okay. Inside there's this big, uh, one might even say an oval office. Mm -hmm. And you go in and there's and there's uh, there's a big desk there. Okay. And um, seated at the desk is yours truly, uh, M Miles. It's me. It's Miles. It's Miles. Just Miles, huh? It's just Miles. Nothing else in the room. Such a bad boy, he doesn't even have a last name. Not even clothes on. He's naked, full, <laughs> full, fully nude. Well, first off, we take a picture. And then after <laughs> that, um, we uh, we threaten Miles and try to figure out what his plan is. Okay. He's, he, um, he says, uh... Hold on, uh, I'm gonna. Oh, Henry, you have arrived. Um, you have killed my father. Prepare to die. And then he just kind of repeats that. For sure, just over and over again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we force choke him. You can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. It doesn't work. Does he like? Get off on it or what? No, it like it it you you try to force choke him, but it's like there's oh. nothing there. Okay, <laughs> there's nothing there. Okay, um, all right then. I uh, let's see. I I sick little Timmy on him, and little Timmy bites him in the ass. So you're. Telling little little Timmy to bite him in the ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so little Timmy runs over, and she um she tries to bite him in the ass, but she goes right through him. Interesting. So he's a ghost, huh? Or a hologram of some kind? Yeah, he's a hologram. Interesting. And you notice okay. like the, it fl it fl it flickers. Um, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it inflates like it's like like a blow up doll. <laughs> Uh, okay, so flickers. All right, uh, we figure out where the projection is coming from. 
it's um, coming from literally like right behind him. You can once you like walk ar enough around him, you see that the light is like reflecting or the whatever the space is between the hologram and the and the thing projecting it. You know, there's like light scene or whatever. Sure. Yeah, it's that. Oh, you shit. see that. My alarm's going off. Um, then, all right. Well, after um, after I pretend to cut his head off. Um, we search the uh, nearby offices mm -hmm. uh, to see if we can find any clues as to his real whereabouts. Okay. Um, as you're about to leave the room, uh, Miles stops repeating the same thing he's been saying for the past two hours. Sure. Because um, you've been in there for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Your character loses track of time very easily. <laughs> sure. Um. And he says he stands up, and you see his his big, huge, fucking ginormous penis, because that's what he has. Just throw it on the desk. <laughs> um, and he says, "Well, well, uh, I was expecting you, but I technically already said that. Whatever, I'll just get uh, <laughs> get to the point. Um, I'm I'm uh, what the fuck is the word?" And the whole thing, this whole thing is staying in. Yeah, yeah. He like he re it's all re pre 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 recorded, so this is all him. Um, and he's like, mm -hmm. oh fuck, I can't remember what what was the word. Um, uh, I'm float, I'm I'm fucking around the planet right now, about to drop a a big duke, a big big dick bomb on you, man, on your fucking you mean, on like this planet. When you say he's fucking around, like, is he, like, is he just somewhere around the planet? Are you saying he's, like, fucking things around the planet? Like, is he, is he just moving around the planet? Oh, I can't know, remember. It's, like, what? where they float around the planet, you know? Okay, gotcha. Where they're, like, enough in the atmosphere where they don't get pulled into to the gravity, but enough out of the atmosphere where they don't just float away. Is he in a ship, or is he just floating? <laughs> he's just floating, <laughs> and he's got a big missile. He's got a rocket launcher. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was like just like on, he's like <laughs> holding onto a big missile. <laughs> yeah, he's holding onto a big missile, and this he's he's like, uh, yeah, I'm floating onto this missile, um, and I'm gonna send it to this planet, and you're gonna f fucking die, Henry. You're gonna fucking uh, eat ass, <laughs> just like little Timmy. Um, yeah. <laughs> then all right, well you know what? I'm gonna rig up a detonator to blow up the missile remotely, and you along with it. Um. And then all of a sudden, the the hologram cuts, and so it's now like you see uh, Miles on the missile now. So now it's like a live, a live feed, and he's also he's, he's still he's still naked, so he hasn't put clothes right, on right. Since, since then. Um, what I was gonna say is he trying to put like his dick in the missile or what? <laughs> no, he's like riding it, you know, like a cowboy where they're like, Woo um, and so he's riding it, and then does he have like any like? cowboy boots on or anything like that no he's completely naked oh wow. he's got he's got a cowboy hat though and he's like wait okay. waving it around um and so all of a sudden he is like uh bye henry and he like kicks off off of the missile sending it towards the planet and him sailing towards uh jedi planet uh 666 interesting okay so now the so. missile is headed towards the planet all right so what I got to do is I pull a Kylo Ren, all right, and I stop the missile in midair, turn it around while still holding it in place, bringing it just low enough to where both me and little Timmy can jump onto it. Then we fly off towards planet 666. Okay. So when you get there, um... You okay? So you're on the missile right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. With with little 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 Timmy. Mm-hmm. So you're headed towards the planet, and all of a sudden, um, you uh, there's like space debris, in okay, like in the planet or whatever it's called, space trash. Yeah. Um. And uh, one of the pieces knocks you unconscious. Okay. And you fall, you and Timmy, because uh, he's like in his little uh, 
she, sorry, she's in her little uh, baby thing that you have attached to yourself. Like the like the well, like the baby like <sighs> like what do you call it? Like a, a car- like <laughs> almost like a not like a satchel, but like it's like a essentially um, a baby satchel. We'll call it. It's yeah, a baby sure. satchel. Sort of like yeah. It's for yeah. people to carry their babies on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, you have that, and that's where little Timmy has been staying. So you get knocked unconscious off the off the missile launcher. The missile goes sailing into the planet, killing everyone on it. <laughs> does that include you? Yes, and it, that that does include Miles. So now you've killed Miles. Oh shit! Okay. Um. Um. So then you uh, are now falling back towards. <laughs> Well, like I guess, I guess in in space, you're kind of in space right now. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> well, damn it. No, oh, damn. Um, my plan was to just to fly the missile towards the the planet, then kill myself and become a force ghost and haunt you. <laughs> um, but now that that's out of the now that that's out of the out of the options. Um. Uh. So I'm unconscious at the moment. Yeah, you're flo- floating through 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 space, but little Timmy, she's uh she's trying to wake you up. Exactly. Slapping exactly. you with her big dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's a dick, that's funny. Um, okay, so what I do is nothing, but little Timmy uses um, uh, uses a gas that she can secrete from her body to try and wake me up, but it's just she just realizes that it's knockout gas, so it does nothing. So instead, <laughs> what she does is she uses, uses the force. <laughs> The force. Yes. From what I taught her to, over the two years that it took us to get to Planet 420. And also, like, the, uh, the five um, years or whatever it took to get the money to buy, buy the spaceship, too. Yes, and that, too, yeah. I, I, I taught her what to do, so she guides us towards the planet. Now, it's Planet 666 Inhabitable. The four, yeah. Planet 420 is the one that your spaceship is on, and Planet uh, 666 is the one that you just... Uh, detonated, exploded, or whatever. Oh, so it's completely gone, or is it? Yeah, like, it's it's. It's, okay. it's, it's gone. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's gone. They're, every, everyone's okay. dead. So then she pulls us f- towards planet four twenty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So yeah, so I would say she yeah, she she pulls us towards four twenty until I can wake up mm-hmm. to, to rescue us both. Okay, and you do so. Um. And. When you finally, like, safely land, use uh, forest powers or whatever to safely mm-hmm. land on the planet, you land uh, kind of roughly because you're, you know, still w- waking up a little groggy. You haven't had your morning coffee yet. Um, yep. You, the the planet you're on now is, you know, completely empty except for the one temple. It feels pretty u- useless as a planet. Yeah. Besides that, mm-hmm. um, but now you know. Uh, what are you gonna do now, man? Uh, you got a whole planet to yourself, mm-hmm. or you could go off and you know find somewhere else. Well, well, I think the first thing to do is to start an eggplant farm because we've got plenty of those in the ship um, from our times scrounging up the money to buy the ship. So mm-hmm. um, we start an eggplant farm there, um, settle down for a few years, teach little Timmy to be my my padawan, uh, or continue to be my padawan, and. Mm-hmm. and teach her the ways of the force um and um then after we've had a few prosperous years um and she's become a a, a jedi knight um uh, in the force we we set off again into the unknown okay um yeah. so now plenty of eggplants in our supply okay, okay. yeah so you got your lip you know you're living it up in the jedi temple you got your eggplant farm outside mm-hmm. um and then, um, so now Lil, Lil Timmy is now fully grown. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. I thought you were going to say fully erect. <laughs> fully erect, yes. Yes, she is also that. She's always fully erect and you don't know how to fix it. <laughs> um, one, day she just, one day she just stole the vibrator saber and just it was never the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, yeah, she's fully grown and fully erect and you're... Uh, like a year older I don't know fuck it for sure um <laughs> yeah and so you <laughs> uh as you're you know doing your morning uh chores of caring for your eggplants yes. um you look up to the sky cause you hear a big rumbling and out of nowhere comes uh 
a, a land speeder through the. It's coming through the clouds. <laughs> Sure. And it crash lands into your eggplant farm. The, are the crops okay? The crops are all dead. Every single one. No. They managed to to somehow land and kill every single one. Even though it's Damn like it. a, it's like a pretty big uh, area. <laughs> Covers at least half of the planet. Yeah, and they um, they managed to kill every single one. Destroy everything. Damn it. Um. Well, I mean, like, first off, my first question is: Is little Timmy? too big for the ship now um i mean she could ride on the on the outside of it but she might die <laughs> right she yeah prob- <laughs> she'd probably she die die. Space. yeah does she need oxygen um i mean you could probably okay. make a new one if you wanted to which you probably new... have started doing oh i thought you meant like a new timmy let's <laughs> 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 make another komodo dragon um no we'll, okay. s- we'll say you started um making it's your the... ship better with parts from the jedi temple and the land speeder yeah. The crash land. Well, not, well, not yet, because the land speeder has just now crashed, and it's been a oh, year okay. or two or whatever. And so you've been making your ship better over the years. Well, so that's you what can, I do. You can finally travel. I use, I use the land speeder. Well, first off, I figure out who the hell's on the land speeder and yeah. if they're still alive. Okay, so you look, and uh, who would have guessed it? It's Darth fucking Vader. He's back. Darth fucking Vader? Yeah, he's back. Oh, no shit. Does he have any soccer balls? He's got two in his pants, but those are the, those are just his his regular balls. Oh, okay. They're that big though. <laughs> They're that big. <laughs> just like they get stung by something, or bitten by something. Yeah. Oh, what was uh, where the Millers like when he got bit by the spider? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, um. Um. Okay. Okay. So he he like is <laughs> drunk again, and he like he again. gets off the lightsaber. Gets off the lightsaber. <laughs> gets he gets off on the lightsaber. <laughs> the land speeder looks like a lightsaber, and he gets off that. Um, it's a vibrator land speeder. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Hey Henry, what's up? Remember that that time you pushed me off the fucking cliff? Yeah, I've come back to kill you. I've survived, you bitch. I've survived, you bitch. <laughs> All right, well, um, you then... killed my son. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I call. Up... I call up on the the fourth ghost, uh, Miles, to come and help me. He just kind of. I let him choke me. I guess. Okay, so he like he comes into he comes into existence. He is when he comes into yeah, existence, he's here, coming. Uh, and he appears. <laughs> yeah, he's coming as he comes into existence. Yeah. Um, and he's like, Henry, why would I fucking help you? You you shot a missile right into my asshole. <laughs> Did I? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah he, you shot a missile into the planet, and he, he was he was facing He's down like, ass yeah, up. I was say, he was like, wait. <laughs> fucking, oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, I did have the greatest amount of ec- ecstasy when that happened, but that's about it. <laughs> it was all for you, Miles, to give you the, the greatest amount of pleasure when you died. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is that not enough? He's well, like, in that case, um, no. that's when I let him know that I dedicated the eggplant farm to him. It's called the Great Miles Ranch. Um, and he's like, okay, sounds good. I'll help you. Yes. <laughs> so then we force choke Darth Vader together. Okay, so he's, Darth Vader's getting doubly choked and he's enjoying it. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. And then, um, while we do that, um, uh, little Timmy, who's now big Timmy, I guess, mm-hmm. big steals Timmy. parts of the land speeder and takes him over to the ship while he's being choked so that he doesn't see what's going on. Um, um, yeah. Except for the fact that as uh, Big Timmy goes over there, uh, Darth Vader grabs the land speeder, presses the button that's on there, and it's, it, as I said, it looks like a giant l- lightsaber because it is. It's like a big fucking lightsaber that reaches the, the clouds. Is it like really thick? Like It's like really big and thick and it reaches the clouds. Oh my gosh. So he's like swinging it around. He's like, back the fuck off. I got a big fucking uh, <laughs> uh, la- laser. He's, still, he's, he's, still, he's drunk. still drunk. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> then what I do is I use his own habits against him. And I get all of the moonshine that I've got on my farm. And I give it to him. Because mm-hmm. the plan is to kill him through alcohol poisoning. Okay, and he great graciously accepts all your moonshine. 
Mm -hmm. Um, But again, it just like gets poured over his helmet and doesn't really do anything. But he's, I mean, then how was he drunk in the first place? Uh, I don't know. He He sipped it through a straw. The some of the some of the moonshine gets poured onto his to his electronics, and that's what that's what gets him drunk. So yeah, I guess it does get him a little a little drunk. Um, A little bit more, but not enough to kill him. Yeah, not enough to kill him. He requires more. It requires more than I have in stock. Well, shit. All right. <clears throat> then there's only one other hope for all of us, and that is death by eggplant. Oh wait, they're all they're all gone. Damn it. <laughs> um, then there's only one other option, <laughs> which is, which is we have to use the lightsaber against him. Okay. So what we do is, little Timmy distracts him. Mm-hmm. By by dodging his his saber, um, and then you um, sneak up behind him, right? And you're and uh, you continue to choke him and try to hold him in place. And then what mm-hmm. I do is I rush in. Not not I'm not rushing. I, I rush <laughs> to him though. Yeah. And um, and I I grab hold of the saber and we're grappling for it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you you get the lightsaber. Um. Mm-hmm. And he falls over from exhaustion, because yeah, the planet's actually quite hot, and he's wearing black, and mm-hmm. it's a little bit too much for him. And he, and he's drunk, so he might get heat stroke. Gotcha. Okay. Well, then I tell him to eat voltage, and I shock him with lightning. To eat what? Eat voltage. Okay. You shock him with lightning, uh, and you kill him. And he explodes everywhere. It's it's, pre- it's pretty fucking gross. Yeah. Um, everything, like literally everything is covered in it, is, is blood and guts. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, um, alright, uh, so then, then, uh, so did we survive? I just want to tell you both, good luck, we're all coming in. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, so then what I do is I take the lightsaber and um, I turn. Uh, I I commit seppuku. So I kill myself. Out of, for some reason, and so I can become a force ghost. Okay. And then I pass on the mantle to Big Timmy. Uh, Big Timmy. Okay. And then you and I ride off into the sunset on the ghost missile. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. For, for before before this ends, Big Timmy attaches the the large lightsaber to the bottom of the ship. Um, yes. So now there's, it's a, got a big fucking like lightsaber on the end of it, um, and she uh, she makes the ship safe enough for her to travel, and she uh, flies off into the distance uh, away from you guys because she's had enough of her fucking stupid dad, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and and who knows she may come back for another adventure. Indeed, hopeful and yeah. We'll just say that she has plans for the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Big, big plans. Big Timmy plans, as in she might take over, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, the end. Wow. Wow. This is fucking. This is fucking awesome. It's a good. Yeah, man. Good. It's a great story. I went. I went. <laughs> I went from killing you by inserting a missile into your anus to riding off into the sunset with you. <laughs> I don't. I don't know about you, but I think this is far better than Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> we just submit the script treatment to freaking Disney. <laughs> We'd like you to reboot all of Star Wars and make this instead, please. <laughs> just gets better reviews. Uh. <laughs> all right, so that was episode three. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. And uh, what do we call it? Henry. Uh, Henry, I don't fuck man. What do we, we call? We can it? we can we can think of that. We can think of that later if we need to. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Okay. So yeah, that might be the the last one for a while, but yeah, maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe not. We'll see. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so yeah, that was that was episode three. Blah blah blah. Uh, come up with mm-hmm. the title later. Working title. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want to do a trivia next? Sure. Okay. 
All right. I'm back. So uh, for today's X trivia, we have se seven questions. Hopefully, definitely. The seventh being, uh, you know, what's the connection? Okay. As always. Excuse me. Do um, I need to write anything down? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. Okay, um, I'll write that down. All right, sounds good. Uh, and for today's prize, you will be getting a obviously a signed signed copy, signed Blu-ray copy of uh, no, sorry, a signed a, a HD DVD copy of um, the episode three. Uh, insert title here. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And, Yay, and especially up on the wall. especially HD DVD because you can't fucking no one has an HD DVD player or whatever. Like I'm pretty That's sure it's a different it's a different uh, thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, like you um, can't you can't play it. I, I don't think. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. It might depend on the the player. Okay, whatever. Uh, so the first two questions have to do with the death of Stalin, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like wait, like the the movie or the event, like the actual historical. Like, like how he died. Well, sort of we'll see, there. won't we? Oh, okay. Um, okay. I thought I was a team player, but sure. So okay. question, question one. Um, yeah. Who wore more medals, Jason Isaacs as uh, Gorgi uh, Konstantinovich Zukov or the real Zukov? Interesting. Okay. Um, so who actually wore... I feel like... Uh, well, wait, you said uh, uh, Georgie? Or no? Or it's like oh. Gorgi Konstantinovich Zukov. So the the big, the general, essentially. The general. Or 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 the real his real life counterpart. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be the the movie version because I I just feel like that sort of fits maybe like a like sort of like a subtle gag there, I feel like. I feel like I would say although well, I don't know, 'cause I could I could see it being that ridiculous too. <laughs> Or, or well, not ridiculous, but like he has that many miles, you know. I could I could see that easily being a thing, though. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with uh, that. It was the, the guy in the movie had more medals than okay. he actually did in real life. That was incorrect. Uh, Damn it! It was the real one, um, the real Gorgi Konstantinovich Zukov, uh, and they chose to give him less in the movie because they thought people would find it in, in improbable, oh, ha shit. very hard to believe that he actually had that many. Oh. Um, well, that makes sense. I so yeah. yeah, I had the right spirit, but <laughs> the right attitude, but just the opposite. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So question two: Which of so uh, this is a multiple choice question? Um, okay. Which of these two events slash characteristics are actually not true? Which of these events or characteristics aren't true? Yeah. Okay. So. For uh, for, for first one, uh, A is Beria giving flowers to his victims. Um, B is Hawker the <laughs> hockey team plane crash. Mm -hmm. uh, C is the concert hall incident. D is Beria's instant ju justice. So um, the way they uh, just like quickly like said like oh you're this. You're, you're guilty, and then they killed him. Mm -hmm. uh, e is Vasily's alcoholism. Okay. And F is Zukov's scar. So uh, the general, sure. the general scar. Yeah. Um, is it? So, so are there multiple answers for this, or is there just there's one? there's two that are not true? No oh, shit. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say. The alcoholism is one? Are you going to tell me each time I, if I get one wrong or not? or? Uh, I'll tell you at the end. Okay. I'm going to say alcoholism is one. And I'm going to say... Shit. Um, I can read them again if you need. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So we've got Beria giving flowers, the hockey team plane crash, the concert hall incident, Beria's instant justice, and Zukov's scar. What, uh, the concert hall incident refers to what? The fact that the, he, yeah, the whole, like, restart where they had to re redo the whole concert and record it. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. 
Um, so that whole like beginning, right? Yeah, that beginning part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because I could very easily see that happening, honestly. Um, I mean, it's obviously meant comedically, but like, it's it's possible I could see that. Um, well, this happens to be true, you know. Um. Uh. I guess we'll say his scar too. Okay. So you got the scar correct. Okay. The alcoholism was real. Okay. So Vasily actually was an alcoholic, <laughs> and he died okay. at the age of forty due to it. Sure. Um. The other uh, false thing was Barry's instant justice. So he actually okay. took like a, about that. a good month or two, and he actually went through a trial, tri- a tri- sure. tri- tribunal. Um, sure. The concert hall incident really did happen, but it happened uh, two years before Stalin's death. Um, the hockey team plane crash, uh, that was real. Um, and the, like they did, in fact... Uh, um, Vasily did in fact try and find replacements for the team and Beria also did give flowers to his victims and if they didn't accept it the if if they didn't if they didn't accept the flowers they would um, uh, be tried I think and imprisoned but if they did then that meant it was consensual unlike what is happening right now <laughs> Damn it. Somebody <laughs> laugh more than you did. Um, uh, okay. So you got a half a point for that half one. Half of that. I got half of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Question three. After Gone with the Wind, what is MGM's second most profitable film? Interesting. And it's, I'll tell you the date. It was uh, 1965. 65. For oh. the film. Yeah. Um, can you tell me the genre or will I give it away um, the genre was romantic uh, let me be a little bit more specific hold on fuck I don't think you've seen it either okay let me just look it up <clears throat> Your dad's almost as like bothersome as you are. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably yeah. Uh, so it's a romance slash war film. A oh, romance slash war film. Mm-hmm. From '65. Can you tell me the title, or will I give it away? That will probably give it away. It okay. is. Uh, you've um, you've definitely at least heard of the title though. Yeah. If you haven't seen it. Okay. Um. Shit. Uh. Yeah, go ahead and tell me, because I, 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 I don't think I'll be able to get it, but I'm, I'm sure I'll be like that once you say it, though. Okay. Uh, so, Dr. Zhivago. I don't know if I've heard of that. Really? Maybe I have. It's but... a pretty popular film, I would say. Not pretty popular, but, you know. So, yeah, Dr. Zhivago. Dr. Um, Zhivago. Uh, no, no, yeah. No, yeah, I've heard of that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Question four. What was 20th Century Fox's first movie in their animation division? So what was essentially the first animated film that oh, 20th shit. Century Fox um, made? It was in 1997. 97, okay. <clears throat> um, that MGM made. Mm-hmm. Or 20th Century Fox. MGM was or, the last or, question. Or no, uh, or 20th Century Fox. Yeah, um, Fox made, huh? Um, is it, I don't even know, uh, I'm gonna guess maybe, is it like, is it maybe Robin Hood? That was Disney. Oh, it was Disney, okay. I won't, I won't count that as your answer. Oh, really? If you want to. I don't know. Um. If you want to give it another try. Um, because I have no idea. I, I don't know. Okay. It was Anastasia. Oh, Anastasia. Okay. Yep. Um, 
Question five. How many days did it take to shoot the film The Darkest Hour, which came out in 2011? And I'll give you three tries. How many days? Yeah, it's a horror film, kind of, with, uh, the, like, the monster was, like, these, like, like lights that killed people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, yeah, I, uh, I haven't seen it, but I am familiar with it, yeah, mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, 44 days. Uh, higher. Okay. A hundred days. Less. Eighty-three. Less. Uh, you were really close with the first one. It was fifty-eight days. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna give you a half a point. Um. But, uh, so the thing with that was, was that, um, uh, so it was, yeah, it was 58 days, but they also like decided to do 3d filming. So it took like, like oh, eight, yeah. eight or nine okay. extra days. So it was kind of like, if you got within the range, I was going to give it to you. So For sure. what, uh, what year did you say that was 2011? 2011. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like when the 3d thing was, you know, when yeah. that was sort of popular. <laughs> Um, question six uh, how many on screen deaths are in the film Hardcore Henry oh shit oh it's been a while since I've seen that oh there's I gotta think cause like there was a decent amount of like violence in there but like there wasn't that much so um is this just a one guess the three guesses three guesses okay um 42. Higher. Higher, okay. Um, 67. Higher. Okay. There's more than I thought. Um, it's been a while since I've seen it. Um, uh... Uh, you will say uh, seventy-eight. Higher, it was no roughly two hundred and eleven. Really, I don't remember that many. Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I've seen it, though. Yeah, I don't know how true that 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 might not be true. I don't know. Huh. Uh, I'll, I'll have to watch it again. Yeah, because um, Hardcore Henry. If, uh, maybe I'm unless I'm thinking of a different film because that was the one that was all POV, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Or mostly POV. Yeah. Um, Which I actually learned there's like a few other films that have been uh, mostly POV, which I'm actually like really interested in and I want to see. One's like a, a crime noir film from like in like the ni- uh, 60s or 70s or whatever. It looks really good. And then yeah, there's like um, another one that was like uh, like this, this dead guy is like walking around this house. And revisiting um, events that have happened in the house. Sure. Which they both look um, pretty interesting. Yeah, uh, the POV thing, I mean, uh, I could see it in a couple applications. Um, obviously, I don't think it would be... Uh, it's not... I hope there's not a lot of movies out there like that, you know? Yeah, it's um, not completely it's practical. Definitely... Yeah. Yeah. No, I... Even from a story point, yeah, it's like, why would you... Yeah. You, you don't have a specific reason for it, you know? So. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. Th- those the films just interested me, at least. Sure. All right. So, final question, number seven. What's the connection? Um. So the I'm trying to remember if is that a movie? Is that the connection? Is that a movie or no? Um, oh, uh, <laughs> just like count that as my answer. <laughs> uh, okay. So we have Darkest Hour. We had Hardcore Henry. Those are the only two I wrote down. Uh, but the connection does that also include the questions asked about Death of Stalin? All of them. Yep. Okay. So I'll tell you the um, films that help you. you got Hardcore Henry, Darkest Hour, Anastasia. Dr. Zhivago and Death of Stalin. Death of Stalin. Okay. So, yeah, you said uh, Dark Tower, Hardcore Henry, Death of Stalin, Dr. Zhivago, or Zhivago, and uh, Anastasia? Mm hmm. Or Anastasia? Um, yeah, whatever. Whatever okay. the fuck it's called. Oh, I got it. They're all movies. 
<laughs> oh, dude, nice. That no, that's not it. Hey, that's technically a connection. Yeah, that's a connection. But I'm the king. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, they all have the letter A in the title. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, I need it. serious. Uh, is it obvious, or is it something you'd have to know, like the? the I would say it's like, obvious. Have to. Okay. Yeah, you have to at least know, I guess, a little bit about the story. I mean, you've seen Hardcore Henry, mm-hmm. and and Death of Stalin, and yeah, um, and I know about Darkest Hour. So yeah, um, it's it's an aspect of the film, the film. I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously what any connection would be. Right for something like this, yeah. But um, um, yeah, I I'm not seeing any connection. Okay, I'll give you I'll give you a hint that pretty much gives it away, but I don't mind. Uh, Location. Oh, the location of it. Oh, so it's oh, it's because it's all in in Russia. Yeah, yeah, it's all based in Russia. I just forgot that Hardcore Hunter is based in Russia. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So nice. Uh, For sure. Yeah, I feel like if I yeah if I had known I think uh, Doctor Javago and Anastasia I probably would have been able to Mm -hmm. glean that for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you got uh, technically two points because you got yeah because I I gave you the last one because for sure. Um and then point five for five and then point five. Yeah, yeah. Then the two halves for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So dude, two points. Nice job, dude. Out of seven. Sadly, you don't get the HD DVD copy of uh, whatever the fuck we decide to call it. Yeah, <laughs> we start the title. Um, yeah. Thanks for playing. Yeah, man. I'll keep it to myself and I'll uh, use it as my new toilet. <laughs> it's, it's what it was meant for, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very cool. Um, I'm just doing some research to make sure I give accurate information here. Okay. Uh, but I have cool. something for you. Uh, nice. Uh, it better not uh, be your fucking dick again, though. <laughs> I've eaten not it this time. <laughs> too many times. I know you're tired from that missile, so... Mm-hmm. Well, really, took a, really took a beating out of my ass. Ha. <laughs> Alright, so... There, I think there are technically two versions of this movie the movie with this title but we're watching the one from 1990 now this one is on sony crackle um and i think that's all the options yeah um free options anyway um it's a horror thriller uh it's called jacob's ladder jacob's ladder jacob's i have not seen it but i want to see it i just heard it's kind of trippy so yeah okay i imagine it's sort of like a donnie darko and sort of it's kind of a different um sort of psychological um Mm -hmm. film okay yeah interesting this looks good yeah and it's got one of my favorite actors tim robbins tim robbins indeed excuse me you're good that means leave okay excuse me so uh yeah i guess i'll go okay um except for the fact that we gotta finish this fucking podcast oh yeah we're doing a podcast. Um, That's right. So yeah, watch Jacob's Ladder on on Sony Crackle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yep. Amen. All right. So let's just say, for example, for instance, uh, uh, Miles says, "Let's just say," yeah. and you wonder, "What is he going to say next?" Yeah. His breath is on the back of your neck. <laughs> That's where you pick it up. Um. Start by breathing into the microphone. <sighs> get off me. <sighs> get off me. Get off my kids, you rotten lawn. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're, you're, uh, you've popped in that HD DVD copy of Star Wars Episode 3, The the Ass Reckoning. Just kidding, that's not the title, that's stupid. <laughs> the um, Ass Reckoning, hashtag but, working title. Uh, but that, but that's the current working title. Uh, and you're like, oh man, I don't want to listen to this stupid bullshit. I want to listen to the McBeef Banquet podcast. Um, so I do. But then you're like, <laughs> so I do. <laughs> but then, yeah. but then you uh, remembered that you ate your phone earlier, and you um, you can't, you can't get it. 
out of your dick hole uh, because that's it. It's made your dick into like this big, th- thin, phone-looking slab of meat. Um, so you decide to you know pre- 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 press buttons that are on your dick, and it, it turns on the McBeef Bagel podcast. But you notice that you don't have it downloaded. Uh, so I'm gonna skip a little bit of this because this is getting really boring. Um, uh, so you can find this podcast on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Breaker Cast, Box, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Podbean, Radio Pubic, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn, and YouTube. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's good. Um, so yes, uh, thank you for joining us for episode 39. Yeah, baby. Uh, it's been a good one. It's been a good one. We, it's uh... Been a, it's been an adventure. <laughs> yep. Uh, so thank you for joining us on this Star Wars adventure. We will pick it up eventually. Who knows when and in what universe? Mm-hmm. Ha ha! Funny space jokes. Ha ha ha! <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this on is on that note, guys. Yeah. Don't accept candy from strangers. Only if it's in the shape. Unless it's us. Only if it's in the in the shape of a dick. Yes. Dick candy. Hashtag penis candy. Accept accept it then. Yes. Cause Especially if you're at a bachelorette party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, bye. Lighter, guys. I'll miss you. I won't my only friends. I won't. I won't my I won't miss you. I fucking hate all of you. <laughs>